I went somewhere yesterday. Well done. That was very, very heartwarming. Okay. So, I'll tell you the story. So, um, I got a message a few weeks ago. In fact, you probably know him actually. Do you remember Tom from Northern Golf? Tommy Trinders. Yeah. Yeah. He messaged me a few weeks ago saying that um, would, I, would I possibly, <laughs> he doesn't work there anymore, oh, would, would I possibly come down to his golf club, which I thought was a different golf club, but it's Berry Golf Club. Okay. Right. Could I come down on a Sunday afternoon of the master uh, Sunday afternoon of the Masters? Um, we've got a lot of junior golfers down there who love watching your videos and they'd love to meet you. So love I thought, that. okay, yeah, why not? Sunday afternoon, I'll, I'll happily do that. So um, after about several reminders off him, uh, yesterday, are you here yet? <laughs> yesterday, I thought, well, I'll take my daughter. I'll take, I took Ivy with me because mm-hmm. um, she's kind of showing glimpses of golf. I want to I saw you posting some pictures of you and yeah. your daughter having some golf lessons this weekend as well. So uh, I want to come on to that. Um, so I took her down. She's seven, um, and I didn't know what to expect. I, I kind of thought it would be like a bit of a presentation. I kind of thought it was like a junior. Organ like a junior section yeah. having a competition, and that's what I thought it was. Yeah. Anyway, I turned up, and to my disbelief, there was no juniors. <laughs> <laughs> there was one of the the most lovely, heartwarming things I've ever seen. So, let's tell the story. Chris Bibby, who's the pro there now, he's moved recently there. Mm-hmm. Him and a couple of other volunteers every Sunday yeah. at four p.m. have been running this free golf camp for the yeah. kids, all ages. Yep. All abilities, free, okay? Amazing. Afterwards, you get pizza, you get chips, again, all free, yep. okay? And it's it's been starting for about six months. It's run all the way through the winter. Even it was snowing, the kids turned up, and even they didn't play golf, they had a snowball fight or something. Brilliant. When it's been terrible weather, they've gone up in the pro, in the clubhouse upstairs and they've done putting challenges in one of the conference rooms. Absolutely brilliant. So for six months, it's been building and building and building, and every week it's got a little bit bigger. Friends have brought other friends and, and blah, 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 and it's free. It's free. No no payment, right? Yeah. So I turned up yesterday, and there's about 25 kids there, all different ages, all different abilities, and probably about the same amount of parents, about 25 parents, all kind of having a little natter and this, that, and the other. And Ivy was there as well, and she wanted to join in, and I, I was basically there for the whole hour, and pizza and chips after her. I, mean, I, I didn't have that. Kids had that. Yeah. Um, and a pint in Guinness. And then um, it, it was... It was brilliant. So loads of them watched the videos, which I really appreciate. All, all lad, boys and girls from like four year old up to maybe like twelve. Um, some were good golfers. Some yeah. could play. Some like the one little lad, um, Ollie, was like the junior captain at the golf club. Um, and like you had a little another little boy called Jude and Spencer, who were like the three good decent players there. Um, and a lot of the other kids were kind of just trying it out. They had clubs there, so you didn't have to buy clubs. I'm you could wear this. what you want. You could wear hoodies, some get like Jude had a little United top on. Like it was dead super relaxed. And because it was at 4 p.m. on a Sunday, there was no like members around, there's no competition. They could be loud, they could have fun. Yeah. Um, Ivy joined in, she made a little friend, which was lovely. Absolutely brilliant. And this for free. Yeah. Like, how good is that? And the, the idea is obviously they want to try and get more juniors down there. They want to be able to get these juniors potentially becoming members of the golf club because they are the future of the golf club. I 100%. think this is what golf clubs are sometimes forgetting. Yeah. Junior sections at golf clubs are really dying. I, I've got, just off camera here, we've got um, Steve who works for me. Who We grew up together in the junior section. Yeah, yeah. Everything you've said there reminds me of my junior organiser, a lady called Jean Cordwell. And at the time, I was I started when I was sixteen, so um, had two years of juniors really. And she did. We had Friday night roll ups, and it was very much the same. Like she she would uh, at the time, I think Jean would have been late sixties, maybe early seventies. Yeah, um, she'd been doing it for two or three years already. Took us to every junior match in this like clapped out Volvo that she wow. had. Um, but we had probably 30, 40 juniors every Friday night would turn up. We would play, we'd have a little bit of food afterwards. Our junior section at Warrington at the time, I think we had 125. I don't know the exact number now. Can't be that many now, can it? I want to say 50. (sighs) Which is still good. It's still good, but it's nowhere near where it was. But we had this like um, community and like all my friends now are from from then. Yeah. I either play golf with them. They yeah. were a little bit older, like the lads who were older than me who were in the 
sort of mid to late forties and fifties, they would we had like a junior rider cup where we would play the seniors team. Brilliant. We would have junior seniors. We would have this green some things, but um, and then uh, Graham Cox, who was the professional, and Ray Mackay, uh, who was the head pro, they would do quite a lot as well. They were coaching and stuff like that, and it was. A lot of it was Amazing. free. It was funded by the club and stuff. Amazing. And it was, you know, Vol- volunteers and stuff. Yeah, we're, we're members of the club still now. I think right now, uh, I've mentioned it for you, I think golf is in an incredibly strong position. I think there's a lot of golfers, a lot of new people trying golf. Like every time I've been to Trafford, and obviously you worked at Trafford yeah, yeah. for a few years after me, it's a busy, bloody Ugh. place. Like it's You're to go in every time. busy. And it's not just golfers. You get no. golfers there. I would probably say 70 30 in the favour of. Golfer v non golf uh, non golfer v golfer, but that, and that and that it g- is a portal to get kids, 100%. new people, young boys and girls. Like people go there for couples and have dates. People, you know, go with groups of friends and just try it out for the first time. It's almost like a bit like bowling. Like mm. it's almost like well, let's just give it a go. Why not? It's yeah. a bit of fun. They've got the dinosaur golf or whatever it may be. And I'll go there now. And every time I go, certainly on the weekend, there's loads of kids trying it. Loads. Yep. Kids' clubs have got ridiculously better yeah. than, than what we, when we grew up, they were, Cut it down wasn't, seven, nine from your dad. it wasn't yeah. kids' clubs, were there? <laughs> now you've got like companies like Ping Golfing. Make, Golfing, yeah. the, the Scottish company. The big heads on them, so it's easy to hit. Amazing. It's spelled, it's Dolphin spelt with a G. Yeah. Um, and the guys up there make some great little clubs. And like Ping have like the Moxie set. Yeah. Taylor made did that Rory set. Yeah. Um, I'm sure Cobra probably got a little junior yeah. set. I'm sure they have. Um, I don't remember Nike back in the day having some. Yeah. But like, Tiger set. I remember but that. like, that is now so much more readily available. You oh, can yeah. you can kind of make a bit of a half set. Like I bought all my kids like little half sets. It didn't yeah. cost ridiculous amounts. No. Um, and they just love it. A little putter, a little wedge, a little a wood. Even and if it's ca- one club. And you kind of off really. Yeah. Um, but I feel like you've got that so wrapped up in the fact that again, growing up, can you remember how challenging it was for clothing growing up? I'd have to wear your school pants, wouldn't you, really? I've got that that school, the wearing school pants, and this one pair of pants that my mum got me from Marks and Spencer's. And do you remember when, like, pants had the turn up on yeah, them and they were, like, the stitched in yeah. the front? And then, like, this beige, horrible colour. Oh. Where now, like, these kids at, the, at Berry look cool. Yeah. Like, they had little hoodies on. on. They had or... little, like, you know, they had trainers on because yeah. golf shoes have become trainers now. Yeah. Like I remember the very first time that I got bought golf shoes when I was about 11. They were the most uncomfortable, horrible things I've ever worn <laughs> Plast- in my life. Plasticky leather and you're like big cleats. Remember them tongs on the front? As horrible, well? <laughs> horrible. So uncomfortable. You definitely get blisters, all sorts. Oh, yeah. Where now, like these kids, like just wear the trainers. Yeah. Like doesn't, because golf shoes have become more trainer like, yeah. which is great. You can't really tell the difference these days. Yeah. Um, it was just, it was so, and we went in the class after and I was chatting to this group of, of uh, boys and girls and showing them some pre-release videos and, um, they, they were just great. The uh, massive shout out to Chris, uh, the whole team at, at Berry Golf Club. Thanks for Tom for inviting me down. Thanks for all the parents because it, it is the parents that are going to take the kids oh, down. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I think obviously now we're parents. Have you? You yeah. just had another little one recently, yeah. and the little boy. How old? Uh, he's four four weeks old today. I thought you looked a bit tired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you don't actually. You look pretty good. Well, congratulations, you know, by the way. Skin routine. Congratulations. <laughs> you, you just always look this old. <laughs> yeah.